Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the box here. And again, this is for the creator combo. Take that off, peel that off, silica gel. All right, comes in this big plastic. There's another box in here as well. This is probably the case. Okay, we got some manuals here. Let me go ahead and put this box to the side and focus on this. I'm gonna open this up. Let's see what we got. It looks like a small toiletry bag. All right. It says DJI on the front. Let's go ahead and unzip this. Okay, we got quite a few things in here. Let's take a look. So first of all, we have the microphone that comes with a pack. Wireless microphone here. Very cool. It looks like the additional battery adapter here that comes with the creator combo and you can tell because it's a little bit longer than the default and then we have the wide angle lens here really small I hope I don't lose this but that is the wide angle lens adapter there and then here we have the tripod screw on accessory too which is three parts. This is really great for just solo vlogging or vlogging yourself doing something so you don't have to hold the camera. And then I believe this would be, yep, this is the standard handle here. The shorter one because the extra battery is a little bit longer than just the standard one. So there you have those two kind of right next to each other to compare. Oh cool, it comes with one of these things that you can tie under your wrist. Ah uh, yes, the wind hairball. This is the thing that you put on top of your microphone to give it hair so it gets no wind noise on you when you go outside. Look at that, full head of hair. Looking clean. Alright, comes with a USB-C wire for connection and charging. There you go. Ooh, this is a little magnet that attaches to the back of the wireless microphone as well. So you just kind of stick it on here like that from one side of a shirt onto another side of a shirt if you don't want to clip it. And then here is the main camera itself. It is small. Let me pull out my iPhone 15 Pro just to show you guys how small it is. Give me one second. Check this out. Look at that, they're pretty much the same size when it comes to height, which is crazy. iPhone 15 Pro is small. Let me take this off real quick. There it goes. And then this screen actually flips up. Oh, it turns on. Oh, snap. I didn't realize it turned on automatically. Let me just turn this off. Okay. Automatic turn off, nice. And then it comes with the secondary box, like I said, I think it is just the case that comes with it, unless I'm wrong. Let me see. Uh, oh, yep, it's just the case. Pull that out real quick. Yep, comes with a little manual there. So how this case works, it's just like a protective shell, like a turtle shell, pretty much. Kind of just put it in like this, push it in like that. I use the circle for reference. And I also use the circle to pull it out as well. So, none too crazy. Really nice. Put this away. Also, let me pull out my knife here because you actually can't use this thing if you don't have a micro SD card and it doesn't come with one, so you have to buy your own. I bought the 256, so yeah. All right, well, now that we got the unboxing done, no review is complete without actually testing it in the real world. So what I'm actually gonna do is call up the bro, take a little bit of a weekend trip, and see how this thing works out in the wild. I don't know why there is a random guitar here, but don't mind it. Okay, so we are here at Brightline Station in Orlando, waiting to get onto the Fort Lauderdale train. And we're gonna be at the Hard Rock. Trip is estimated to take about two hours and 
45 minutes. So let's see how that goes. Okay, so right now we are on the Bright Line headed to Fort Lauderdale. This train is pretty cool. We should be showing up in about an hour and a half. The ambient lighting, if you could see there, is pretty sweet. The train's pretty large too. We've just been playing Mario Party this entire time. And uh, yeah, we should be getting there pretty soon. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. Let's go. Checking in. It is morning time the next day, and we are about to go get breakfast. Something that I really like about this camera, as you can see, is the depth of field when it comes to first person talking videos the background is a little bit blurry which makes for a pretty cool cinematic effect and it allows it to really focus in on my face but yeah let's go get breakfast So we are at the pool right now and what you're hearing coming out of the audio is the wireless DJI microphone transmitter here actually. It's really loud, there's a lot of music and as you can see there is a waterfall behind me, a lot of kids, a lot of people making noise. So we are going to see how this microphone sounds by just me talking straight into it. Okay, so another quick microphone test here. Talking straight into it, um, I'm walking right behind a waterfall. It's super loud, like so loud to the point where I actually can't even hear myself. So if you guys are able to hear, uh, I mean, that's just a testament to how good this wireless transmitter DJ mic is. All right, looks like it's my turn to vlog. So now I think we're gonna go get us some wings at the pool bar. All right, just had a successful lunch. Let's go do some sightseeing around the hotel. I think that'll be pretty cool. Okay, so we just made it back to the room. We are going to wrap this vlog up, but last but not least, I think we've showcased most things that this camera can do in terms of a regular vacation vlog, but we have to show what the low light looks like, specifically at nighttime. So what this hotel does is they have this light show here and that lasts anywhere from about five to 10 minutes and we are going to film this at night and see if there's any noise or not. So let's go ahead and take a look at that.
All right, so we just got back from the light show, so I hope you guys enjoyed our travel vlog and what it's like to live with this camera for a little bit of a mini vacation. That was the low light of it, and uh, yeah, in terms of convenience, how well this camera works, everything like that, this camera is probably the best camera I've ever used. Not because the video quality is the best, um, it's not anything like my DSLR, even though it comes actually pretty close in real world use. The most important part was convenience. Just being able to pull this thing out, flip the camera, and then immediately record, have excellent video quality, have excellent audio quality. I give this camera like a solid 9.7 out of 10. All right, excellent. Thank you guys so much for watching our review, and we will catch you guys next time. Cool, peace.